Hi and welcome to Makeup Mug. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. This is my Nine Inch Nails shirt. Okay, let's put new makeup on my face. So I've gotten a stupid amount of new makeup. Almost a full face full, which is embarrassing, but also not. Because that means I have new stuff to play with. First thing is Revlon Skin Lights Face Glow Illuminator. I have it in the shade Sunshine Luster. 300. I don't know if there's 100 or 200, but this was new on Ulta. She's this, I don't know, golden color. And, yep. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I've gotten orders in from Ulta, Sephora, some indie brands. I placed uh, one order today. Today is Friday, and the Cosmic Brushes Winter Wonderland palette just launched, and all of their other palettes are back in stock. So I placed my order today, got the Goth palette, and then the Muse, and the, the dessert one, whatever that one's called, the pastel one. Because I never got that one. I only have I only own the Serenity. So I got the rest of the palettes, essentially. Okay, there's the Revlon Skin Lights. Is it dark? Yes. Is it 300? Yes. Should I probably have gotten 100? I don't know. But <laughs> it's now on her face. Listen, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Does it look weird? Yeah. Totally. This is new. Revlon Serum Tint with ginger root. Sorry, Illuminance, Ooh. Ginger Root, Vitamin C, Vitamin E, SPF 15, which is not enough, but it's okay. You should be wearing other SPF. And how am I going to squad to this on my face? <gasps> there they are. The hiccups I've been missing all day long. I don't have a brush. Okay, we're going to smooch it. It's a little runny. What shade is this, you ask? I don't know. 113. Well, that was anticlimactic. So I have been binging Meteor Garden on Netflix. So highly recommend. I'm almost finished. It's the same story as Boys Over Flowers and that whole thing. So if you've, it's a, this one's Chinese. So Meteor Garden is Chinese. Boys Over Flowers is Korean. I haven't seen the Japanese or the Taiwanese one, but I will because it's, and it's the same story. There are some variations, but I am absolutely obsessed. I love it so much. So highly recommend Meteor Garden if you want a swoon worthy romance. It's great. It's got Dylan Wang in it, who is my new favorite. This is too dark. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. We're gonna make it work. It's gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, I am off of work for today. It's Friday. And I have not that I'm off work. I've already worked today. It's after work time. And I have downloaded Hogwarts Legacy. It came out this week for the Switch. So I downloaded that and it is now waiting for me to play. Mr. Mugwump did all the updates on it so that I should be ready to go as soon as I'm ready to go. So after this, immediately after this, I will be building my character, which will probably take me three or four days because that's how I roll. P. Louise, base. Oh, I did order from P. Louise. I wonder if that's shipped. It takes forever for stuff to get here sometimes from the UK, but just reminded me. This is the best product in the whole entire world. As an eye primer, it's great. This one is in 0 0.5. I also have 0 and 1.0, among other colors. This is like the, the My Flesh Tone. It's a little bit lighter than My Skin Tone. 
I love it so much. It's amazing. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and put on my, I don't have any like, no, sorry. I'm just trying to see what I have. I want to go ahead and put on my highlighter because it is that new one from Wet n Wild. Their holiday, um, little release and it's a color shifting one but I want to put it on before I put on powder just in case so it's like pinky purpley cute so we're going to go on date night to Mr. Moe Won't's Lair and build a Harry Potter character that's what we're doing tonight I hope you have big plans on your Friday night that is some kind of highlighter. My goodness. I knew I wanted it as soon as I saw it flash. Okay, so let's... Mm, do we want any concealer? Yes, we do. I'm using up the Kat Von D, and it really is the Kat Von D. Before it became KVD or whatever. This is the Locket concealer. It's in light neutral, and you need the tiniest amount. She's thick. I guess I could use this as foundation if I really wanted to because it's a, a good match. It's not like super brightening under my eyes or anything, but this is a good concealer and I just wanted to get use out of it before it turns rancid. And so far, so good. She's old. As are we all. All right, let's powder. I've got no new powder, thank goodness, because I don't need any new powder because I'm trying to use some of them up here. Um, but I'm not like a super, I don't get super excited about like buying powder. Some people do. They love it. I don't care. I mean, I'll buy it. Don't, I have way too much, but I'm not like, ooh, a new powder. I do like a powder foundation though. I will, I will admit to that, that if there's a new powder foundation, I generally want to try it or like a mineral foundation like that's in powder form. I like that too. I'm a fan. This is just a flower, satin, miracle, glow, whatever, that we're using up. Okay. Cute. Now, the fun stuff. I have new bronzer. It is the glowish bronzer from Huda. I got it in the shan the shade 03 tan light and it's this I don't know if this is full size or a baby I'm not sure she's cute though right she's like this marbly pretty thing tan light is the shade okay let's use Where's my bronzer brush that I like so much? That's one. Okay, this is from Gimme Glow Cosmetics. Oh, she's she's on there. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, I got a new drink from Sonic. I mean, I purchased this drink. And it's a new combination of flavors for me. <laughs> so I got Sprite with Blackberry, which is one of their flavorings. Oh my gravy, it's so good. It is delicious. I highly recommend that. Sprite with Blackberry. That's a pretty bronzer. That's pretty. Okay. Bloosh. I got a new, I almost said flavor. I got a new shade of the pure... Nude Baked Blushes from Essence. This one's in Pink Flush. The first one I ever got was called Rosy Rosewood, and it is Gorgeois. And this one I thought I would like, and I do. That's really pretty. She's a little dusty in the pan, but that's okay. We may do. A little bit more. Lush. Okay, that's 
pretty. I don't need another highlighter. There's a hair. I don't need another highlighter on top. Like I think that highlighter is pretty enough. We are glowy. I love it. Okay, let's try brows. This is a new one from AOA Studio. It is the Sculpt and Brow Pencil, and I think I got it in a dark shade. I can't remember. Sure I did. There it is, dark shade. It is a weird, like, diamondy but not diamond shape. Whatever. We're going to try it. We'll use it. Need to get my hair dyed again because my my little brown my brown roots are showing through and I really do like the black. I think it's really really cute. So let's go ahead and do that before holidays roll around. There's brows. Let's put a little bit of brow gel in it. I think the only brow gel I've got out right now is this one from again AOA Studio. This one's in ebony, but it's a it's not like black black. It's just dark brown, I think. It's got this little thin, see, little thin wand. It works. You get a little bit too much like I just did. If you're not careful, I'm gonna use the spoolie off of this, which is clean. To get comb through that. There we go. Okay. Beauty. Beauty. Now, the Peace Day Resistance. Let's use this palette. Of course I had to get this palette. Of course I did. I don't buy all of Huda's palettes. Okay? I don't. Because I don't, I don't love them. I don't fall in love with them. I don't need them. But this, absolutely I did. Absolutely I did. So we're going to use her. Haven't used her yet. Hadn't swatched her. Nothing. We're going to use her today, and I'm so excited. Like, this is, like, as excited, I think, as I get about new makeup. I'm excited about this palette. I cannot. It is so beautiful to me. <gasps> I can't wait. So, there is a cream, like a black cream or whatever, um, which I would probably use to line with. But we'll see what I do with that. Okay, there is a, like a peachy set in shades. We're going to use that real quick. Man. I haven't been this excited about a palette in a hot minute. I just saw it and fell in love. Oh, it's so pretty. That's so pretty. And I can see myself using it for just normal everyday shades for work. And then also exactly what it's what it claims to be, which is grungy, because I would absolutely love this. So let's do let's go grungy. Let's go cool tone grungy. Let's do what we want today. Because we can. I haven't used the Huda palette. In a little while, I have Mercury Retrograde and Rose Quartz. And then I've got one of the nine pounds, Topaz maybe. It's like a pumpkin, like oranges. It's really pretty. I was surprised at how much I like that one because I don't normally, I don't normally like, you know, love warm tones to begin with. But that one I really did. There's a Thanksgiving look on my channel using that nine pan Huda palette from a couple of years ago. Oh, so excited!
I like mauve as grunge. I think it looks really good. I also enjoy eyes that look like they've been bruised. I think that is a really interesting look. I know that sounds strange, but that's one of my favorite types of looks, which I think this one's probably going to turn out to be one of those. And I ain't mad at it because I like it. I am a little worried about that cream being like open and there's a lot of fallout in this palette, like a lot of kick up, not fallout, kick up in the palette itself. So I'm worried it's gonna get gross down there, but you know, it is what it is. We'll figure it out. That's pretty, right? I mean, come on. Makes me happy. All right, I want to see. That one's an interesting shade. Let's put that on the outer part of our lid. It's called haphazard. It's a shifty kind of blackened plum. I like that. I like that. Let's try the strong. A F marbled shade. Let's see what let's draw off our fingers. Let's see what she looks like. Yeah, that's like a real strong like silvery taupe. Yep, we like that for almost the entire of the middle of the lid, leaving just the front part open. And then we're going to probably, let's use Maverick, which is this silvery shade here. And then we might type, tap Rebel over the top. We're just going to see how we do here. I'm using all the shimmers. Because I can. Okay, this is Maverick, the silvery gorgeousness. Oh my goodness. Like, stop it. Oh, I love it. it. Just makes me make funny noises. I just, it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. All right, I want to see what Rebel looks like. She's. We're gonna tap her too. She's super glittery and beautiful. Chunkier. Like chunkier. My goodness, I'm beautiful. <laughs> I just think that is so pretty. All right, now I do have some more work to do on the lower lash line, but we'll get there. I don't, I have a new, y'all, I told you about the Glisten Cosmetics like liner palette that they had for 50 bucks and you could fill it 15 pans and you could choose the pans you wanted. So I bought it and it got here and I'm super stoked. So this is like this really pretty white pinky. I think we're gonna put some on the inner corner. I almost poked my eye out. Um, but I think this is such a pretty interesting shade. It looks purple, but it's flash and teal on camera. And I wanna use it. So to use this, you wet your brush, just water. This is a cake liner that is activated by water. And then go to town. Okay, I have lined, and I love this palette. So I used my little weird shade here and lined 
top lash line and then in the waterline. And then this is the, the little, it's like pinky and I put it just right in here and it's so pretty, it catches the light. I used the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly. This has a scent, like a fragrance scent that I do not like. Like maybe roses, I can't stand the smell of rose stuff in my like makeup, <laughs> stand it. Let's do lips. Okay, we're gonna use the Kylie Jenner Bare Lip Liner, which is the one I finally sharpened once I found my sharpener. And it's just been sitting here, so I've been using it. One of the indie brands that I ordered I was sent to TikTok and I saw the packaging and I was like, I have to order that. It is a brand called Necromancy Cosmetics. Nope, Cosmetica. It is based in Puerto Rico and they hand make everything. Look at this packaging. Just. So I bought three lipsticks and a palette. So I'll show that to you in my haul, which is next on my channel, so subscribe if you haven't already. This is the shade Divine Flesh. She's perfect. I knew it when I saw this color. Necromancy Cosmetica. Thank, thank you, and you're welcome. Order from that place. They're hand poured, so it'll take a hot minute to get to you, but when it does, you're gonna love it. This is it, y'all. This is the uh, the old grungy, side part, middle-aged, old lady in her nine-inch nail shirt makeup tutorial, which is not a tutorial. It's just getting ready, you know, for nothing, for Hogwarts. That's what we're doing. We're getting ready for Hogwarts tonight. Look at this palette, y'all. Look at it. Would you just look at it? Mm. I was right. This one's everything. This one's everything. Yup. Yup. I love it so much. I can't wait to wash this face and then do it again because I want to use this so bad again. Whew. I hope you liked it. I did. Sprite with Blackberry. Just trust me on it. All right. Y'all go have a good rest of your night. If uh, this is your first time here, yeah, it's not real professional what we do here. But we have a good time and we love makeup. So hang out. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Hit like if you liked it. And uh, if you are playing Hogwarts Legacy, tell me secrets down below because I have yet to begin, but I'm about to. And if you got the Pretty Grunge palette, let me know too. Or if you didn't, tell me why you didn't. Because I'm so glad I did. I'm so excited. All right, y'all have a good rest of your night. I'll see you soon. Bye.